Welcome everyone. This is the first of a few videos for today. I hope to keep them um, kind of concise. So what you need for this video, uh, we're just setting up a project and then we'll talk about what we're actually drawing next time in class. But we're going to be setting up a project. It's going to look something like this. There's just going to be some squares on this board. <clears throat> actually, it should look just like that. And uh, this is all you need. You need a pencil you're comfortable with drawing with. I would not use an H pencil because they're so fine. And if you make a mistake, they're a little harder to erase. You need an eraser of your preference. And then you need a ruler. Um, it doesn't have to be 18 inches long, but it has to be in inches or you won't be able to follow my instructions. You also need a piece of illustration board. Um, in your folder of papers, I believe this is all the way on the end, it's 15 inches by 20 inches, and it's a piece of cardboard that basically has a paper attached to it. It's called illustration board. It's a really nice drawing board if you're spending a little bit more time on a drawing, and although it's not necessarily as permanent as some things, um, and I thought it'd be fun to use for this project. You should have one more and you will need that for your final. So don't, you know, make sure you, yeah, if you don't have two of them, you'll need to get the second one. Okay, so you have your board, you have your ruler, your pencil of preference and an eraser. So what we're gonna do is put these six squares in and we're gonna measure them out very carefully. So um, what I like to do, if you think about it, if you know uh, to designate where a line is, if you think of math, um, is it where a point is? Uh, not necessarily, because then if you had a line, it could be like anyway on this point, right? So to find a line, we need two points to know exactly where that line's gonna be. So every time we measure something in this class, we always measure it twice to put the line in precisely. So I'm going across the top of the board here. We're gonna put in the measurements. The first mark we're going to make is at one and one half inches. I'm going to make a little mark up here at the top. I'm going to write the inches. You don't have to write on your board. Um, you know, you want it to stay nice and neat. So one mark at one and a half inches. And then you're going to make another mark after another, start measuring here, another five inches. So five inches, one and a half, five. And then the next mark you're going to make is just one inch here, one inch. So one and a half, five, one inch. Then you need another mark that's five inches. Five inches. And then another, there's kind of a pattern here. Another one that's one inch. Another five. And then you should have one and a half inches left. So um, what I did is I kept moving my ruler across. So I moved it one and a half inches, made a mark. This is the half inch place, this longer line between the two numbers. Then I measure, I started at that measurement, went five inches. Then I started here, made one inch, started at the one inch mark, five, the five inch, one, another five. Then you have a one and a half again here at the end. You didn't have to measure that. Now, occasionally a board or a paper isn't measured out precisely. So um, when we measure the second time across the paper, we're going to start measuring from the same side. That's really important. So it's the same measurements. I'm putting my ruler down here at the bottom. Um, I'm trying to get it just so you can see it. So I'll go in a little bit, but if I were you, I'd do it right on the edge. So first we need one and a half, one and one half. Then just like we did before, the next one is gonna be five inches. The next one's going to be one inch from that mark over. 
the next will be five inches Oops. see it wasn't quite precise I'm arranging it, erasing it I want to make sure it's right the only reason I'm not doing this on the edge is it doesn't fit on my camera. Otherwise, I'd be on the edge. Like I said, you should do yours on the edge. Five inches. Then we have one inch again. One inch. Then five inches. And then the leftover here at the edge is one and a half. So we have these um, increments at the top and the bottom of the piece of paper. I know that it's like, oh no, I'll just kind of hold it. I don't have to make the second measurement. But you know what? When you don't, you really have no control if it's very straight or if it's kind of straight. And by the time you get across the paper, they start really wiggling. You want it to be nice and neat. So measure both sides. I'm going to go ahead and draw across the measurements now where I made my two marks. Um, and then um, I don't have to draw them. I'm going to leave a little bit of space there on the ends because I know that's going to be a margin. Just go ahead and do it. Line up the two marks you made going across the paper. Some of you I know measuring is not your thing. And don't feel bad. That's pretty normal. Uh, some of you, like, I don't know why I'm pretty kind of creatively brained in some things I just don't get like foreign languages I just don't get it but I, for some reason I like measuring things so we're, all of us are put together a little different so don't feel bad if this is a little bit of a chore for you to do this you can always ask someone in your house to help you just make sure you get the same measurements on both sides and worse come to worse cut out five inch these are five inch squares just cut some out and trace them. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm just drawing my lines across the paper. And then here's my last one. So we've got part of the square set up. Remember we're making six evenly spaced out squares. Oops. We're just setting up an assignment. Okay, going in the other direction, um, we're going to measure some different measurements. So on the end of the paper, we're going to go one and three-fourths. So one and three-fourths. So the fourths are these measurements that are a little bit bigger than all the other ones. So um, one and three-fourths. So one and three-fourths to that point. And then we have a five inches. Leave an inch and a half. See, this isn't a great measurement. I made it all blobby. How am I going to know where it's accurate? I'm going to redraw that so I know where does that go. Then we have one and a half here in the middle. One and one half. This was five inches right here. So one and three fourths, five inches, one and a half, and five again. And then here at the end of your paper, you should end up with one and three fourths again, uh, just depending on how well they cut that board for you. So one and three fourths, five, one and a half, five, one and three fourths. Now, our rulers aren't going all the way across. If you happen to be using a yardstick, you haven't. You only have to do it twice. Uh, but I'm using uh, rulers, so let's do this again right in the middle. If yours is 12 inches long, doing it again in the middle will also be fine. So let's go one and three fourths, and then move our ruler over to. Five inches, one and a half, move over to five inches, and then you have a leftover 
of one and three fourths. Now remember that my board's not quite cut right, so I'm always measuring from the left to the right so that this one board, it, it won't matter if that one board is a little off. Okay, I'm gonna do this measurement one more time here at the bottom of the paper. Did it three times, just because the ruler doesn't reach all the way across. That's the only reason I keep doing it. So here we have one and three fourths. Move the ruler. Also telling you this kind of late, but make sure on your ruler, some rulers have extra space like this one does. So make sure you've lined up the line for your one and you're not just using the end of it. Five inches. One and a half. And then we have five inches. And then approximately hmm, one and three fourths. But I'm going to double check because that's very odd that it ended up that way. Let's double check. Five, one and a half, five. Huh. Yeah, the, the board's a little odd. Okay, now what we're going to do is draw the lines across. So we have, uh, instead of just two marks, we have, um, we can, we have three to line up with. So you don't have to draw the way, you can see where these lines are going to go. So I'm just going to draw where it crosses the other lines. It should all line up on the other side of the paper. Well, that was good. Be patient if you make a mistake. Now see, I drew that line like that, I just erase it. Remember, I have my eraser shield, so I could erase it um, even better. Just, so, it's my first boxes are almost in. Um, just drawing across. It'll just look really nice when we're done, but we took the time to measure this out and have it be really nice and neat. So the inches, the boxes are five by five inches. It will save you time if you uh, make kind of a grid like I just did, rather than drawing them one at a time. Okay, now I'm getting the next row of marks in. Get lining up with my I have to use three marks here to get across the paper. And to draw one more line. Okay, I've drawn my squares. Now all I have to do is erase it back. Um, before I do that, I just want to kind of up close and show you the measurements again, going across the top, one and a half, five, one, five, one, five, and one and a half. Going the other direction, we have one and three fourths, five, one and a half, five, one and three fourths. And these are inches. And so now all I have to do is clean it up a little bit, erase down to the corners, erase this spacing piece up here. I would definitely erase it now before you draw the project because remember when you push on that graphite, when you're drawing, it kind of embeds it in the paper. So you want this nice and clean. If you wrote numbers on your boards, um, you didn't have to, but if you did, I will erase, I would erase those out now. Okay, so we want to erase it down to where we have just those um, six boxes and nothing else. I left the numbers on mine in case you ever need to see them. But that's all we're doing for this. We're going to save this till next time and we'll be all set up and ready to go for a new project, which I hope you enjoy very much.